Morning, everybody. Chad, Doss Farms. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. All right. Bunny. Sunny. Maximus. How's it going, brother? Doing okay? Doing all right. You're so chill, man. So chill. I like it. I like it. Easy, easy. CJ, what's up, buddy? Don't eat that turd, though. Nelly, how you doing, young lady? How you doing? Fiona, hi, pretty lady. Hi, pretty lady. Can I touch? Can I touch? Corey, how you doing? I touch? Nope. Morning, Belle. Good morning, Belle. June bug. What you thinking? What you thinking? Is that good? Oh, here comes your boy, June. Well, what in the world? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Coming through. Look at those chickens. I'm not sure they've seen chickens. This could be interesting. Yeah. Avert your eyes. Glory's about, <laughs> Glory's about to... Oh, boy. Good thing Cowboy ain't over here. I have never seen the chickens this far. That's hilarious. Tipsy. Tipsy. Hi, young lady. Hi. Yeah, I know. I know. Phineas, you're on the wrong side, brother. You gotta go around. Relax, I'll get another bag of cubes later this afternoon and he'll get some. But he was up there eating this grass. I know it's short, I know it's not five, six inches of luscious green fescue, but trust me, these longhorns are doing just fine on it. Lily, what you think? Hi, hi. It's morning, Lucy. Good morning, Lily. Good morning, Lucy. But donk donk. Tell me about it. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Boy, you are getting thick. Hey, is it left on the lunch, right on runts? Because if it is, there's a runt over there. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, and speaking of, she brayed yesterday. Yes, she did. I've actually, I've not heard her just straight rip but yesterday she just she just let it out she actually little donk popped off which is her dad and she just fired right back at him it was super cool i've never heard it before speaking of runs what are you doing what are you doing buddy mj come hang out Peas in a pod right there, man. If fifth sands and butts were candies and nuts, we'd all have ticks on our butts. All right, MJ? I just made that up. Do you like it? They now have garlic minerals. They have salt licks. They have like free choice type stuff. And the garlic will start getting in their system. It takes about 30 days. I've not seen, and I, I truly believe this, there wouldn't be such a market for fly spray, fly control, fly removal, if you could eliminate flies and ticks. It doesn't, you can't eliminate them. All you can do is pre-treat, treat, continually treat, and just keep it going. But 
We are dropping down into the 30s. I think it's going to be 38 degrees tonight. Well, kind of cull some of those flies. It's kind of crazy. They come out. It's a, let's see, youth season started last weekend for turkeys. And then uh, adult season, I guess. <laughs> that sounds weird. But that started Monday. So, you know, the turkeys are on the move. They're not eating as much. They're hiding. That's not your mama. That's not your mama, honey. Looks like her. That ain't her. Ain't no milk in there, lady. Man, look at his nose. His nose is brindled. He's going to be just like his daddy. So they are not the same sire and obviously not the same dam. She knows that's not her mom. What's she trying to do? want a cube i don't know mom's way down there yeah i don't mess with that one boy you're curious little stinker it's chickens man that is hilarious but this is awesome so yesterday intentionally i've never seen the chickens come this far we are all the way at the side of the property but yesterday I actually threw some grain, some scratch, some stuff that Ray had bought that we, you know, didn't need. Um, honestly, I thought the mice had gotten into it in the garage. So I threw it in the cow pasture right next to the garage, right next to the waterer. And it drew the chickens into the cow pasture, which is awesome because we love seeing the cows right by the house. We're actually, that is our project is to clear the area between us and the cows so we can literally see them all the time. And uh, the chickens ran in there. Well, they'll help with fly control. Because if you didn't know, you can literally just kind of pour some feed on the chicken poop. And the chickens might eat a little poop, but what they're really doing is scratching the poop away and then eating. I love when they run. She runs like a dog too, man. Tail is always up when she's running. But yeah, the chickens scratch the poop, tear it up. Then the flies don't want it and they won't be by the house. I would like to get more chickens. I would. Our chickens also, I'm not sure. Either something is eating their eggs or they're laying somewhere else. And here, I'm going to show you the cows so you can listen to me and watch the cows. So we had nine eggs in yesterday's video, or two days ago. In the morning, we had nine eggs. When Adler and I went back, there was only four. That's during the day. I know some of you guys, you know, we feed our chickens their own eggs. It makes their shells harder, gives them the calcium they need. And I feed them whole eggs. Like I throw them on the ground and they break. You've seen me do it for years. And I've done it for 10 years, MJ, 10 years. And I've never had a chicken eat an egg. Because when we get back here in a minute, I'll throw an egg on the ground. And if it don't break, it'll be there all afternoon, all evening. They have no idea how to break that egg. So they're not doing it. He's watched. Get it, buddy. <laughs> That's mom right there. Get it, buddy. He's just playing. So, anyway, something's getting them, Fiona. But I was kind of wondering if I put a coop in here over by the house, which won't be a big deal because we've got power and water. It's also where I'm going to put... Um, what was I going to say? It's also where I was going to put the chute from AeroQuip and kind of build a little corral and catch system where we can work them by the house because we'll have power and water. But I don't know. I'm really tired of the chickens pooping on the patio, the driveway, the porch. Whether you feed them or not, they're always there. They hear the door. They hear the crinkle of a bag. They're on you, man. And they go in the garage and they poop. That's disgusting. We'll get it sorted though. We'll get it sorted. Man, I sincerely appreciate, you know, there's a lot of farmers out there, ranchers, all this and that. Um, one thing I dream of having someday is actually a bison. And we've got the room. We don't have the pasture for it, but we got the room. But I'd love to raise a bison for meat. Just to say I did it. I just, it's just a life goal. It's what I want to do. And 
So one of the people I follow is Dusty over at Cross Timbers. We've chatted a little bit. We chat a lot. I can text him, call him. But I just think it's super cool. And I, I'm one of those people that just watches his videos because I, because I like Dusty. But I watch to watch the bison, which is what he wants. That's what he wanted to do was revitalize the breed and restore this native animal to the native land. And I just, I just really like it. I think it's super cool. I appreciate those of you that compliment us like I'm complimenting Dusty because... I love these longhorns. I have fallen in love with the unique patterns, the horns, every animal's different. And that's on twofold. So another honorable mention who I've actually bought animals from is Rhett down at Hundred Acre Woods Highlands. He's got Highlands and they're all unique personalities. They are, they all have very unique personalities. They have names, super cool channel if you wanna see a bunch of Highlands. Just about three or four hours south. Actually, he's really close to Dusty, actually. But after we lost Fred to what we think was pneumonia, according to the vet and just how he passed. This has been coming up on two years ago. But after losing him, it really soured me about Highlands. I just, man, it just crushed me. I was worried that I didn't have the means to keep them alive during the hot summers. And, you know, we've got June and we've got Frank. We won't have a pond, but I will make sure they have somewhere they can, even a, even a misting machine. Um, but we also have ample amounts of shade, which we didn't have at the last property. So after Fred passed, I decided a few months later that I really, really wanted to try Longhorns for their unique personality. And they all physically look different. They're just like us. They're so different. Finn just found the other gate. He's going to come charging through here in a second. Let's, uh, I'm actually going to give him some room. He comes in like a wrecking ball. Woo! You already got him. Hang on. Oh, I see him. Yeah, tell him he's late to the party. We called him. No, we have to tell him, Tipsy. We gotta tell him. We can't not tell him. That's not nice. See, that's not nice. Hey. Come here. Man. And doesn't Lone Rock raise some beautiful animals? All right. Call me whatever you want, but don't call me late for breakfast. I called you, brother. I did. Everybody moved but you. Look at those chickens. They hear him coming. See, they'll scratch up and spread around the hay. They'll spread around the poop. Chickens are awesome for your pasture. He ain't in no hurry, that's for sure. He's like, doggone it. Let's see what he does here. He's not really that, he'll go push CJ. Those are the two steers. That doesn't surprise me. He'll get a little bit, but they have straw. And if you watch Case's video, which should be posted after this one, he uh, helped me put out a bucket of straw, or a bale of straw yesterday. So we're gonna have hay all summer long while we work on these pastures. They're gonna get cubes probably every other day. Um, they get two bags, sometimes a bag and a half, just depends. But like for the next week, there's no rain, none. So this is gonna grow because it rained a couple days ago and then the sun shined, but then they're gonna eat it and it's not really gonna grow without water. So, but what we've noticed is you can already see, and I'll have some naysayers, I'm sure. But you can already see the red or the uh, green red. I have no idea where red came from. You can already see the green coming up where we've cleared. And keep in mind on Tuesday, I rented a piece of equipment that'll literally change the face of the property. Something you guys have been telling me to get. I don't have the need to buy it, but a rental was a definite. So that's what we got. And then two companies, I reached out to them. Two companies are gonna work with us 
on some equipment for us to have and show you guys off. And these are like lifetime investment equipment. I don't, that's one thing, I don't want equipment or products I don't use because I like reviewing them over several videos. Um, I was watching Daniel the other day. What did he have? A cedar. And he was spreading some seed for growing bucks for hunting. And he, he uh, I think he had that equipment for a year. Well, that's about the time you need, in my opinion, that's a full two seasons, if you time it right, to experiment with equipment. And some companies want to send them to you for like a week or two. It's like, you know, the longer you leave it here, the longer I'm going to show it off. So we have two companies sending us a couple pieces of equipment. I'm talking big name, big, big named equipment companies. And we get to keep them. They're literally donating them to DOS Farms because of you guys. And I couldn't be more grateful. I'll mention both their names. You'll see their equipment probably used. One of them, well, both of them will help with the brush control. And one of them will help with Oh gosh, I don't, I don't know. I want to, I want to, I'm so excited. And I reached out to both of these companies. I reached out to both of them. That's what's super cool. That's what I like. Both of them are local and homegrown entrepreneur style. So super cool, man. Super cool. MJ, honey, are y'all excited? Are you guys excited? Well, hey there, buddy. <laughs> he tried to, tried to run me off and then I stood up to him. He gave up. Let's play. Are you protecting your girlfriend? They're not related, so that could happen someday. But we will have to make a choice on what we're going to do with him. But I don't think he's going to get a band. He is really pretty. Get it, buddy. Uh, uh. <laughs> All I did was screw my feet. It's okay. We're playing. We're playing. It's okay. Hi, buddy. He's protecting his girlfriend. He oh, see you later, sister. You're on your own. Mom! Mom, he tried to touch me. Mom! The bearded human touched me. Whew. Man. Like I said, the longhorns captured my heart after losing my first bull I ever bought and I'm just very very grateful for these animals a gift from God you know he put us in charge of them that's how I look at it prayed for the right direction and here we are we've got seven females. So we've got two heifers, technically three with the baby. We've got two heifers that should be bred. Here's one of them. Bunny is the other one. She just had a baby. She's going to have a baby. She just had a baby. June should be bred. Tipsy should be bred. Bread. He's a steer and he's late for dinner. <laughs> and he's late for breakfast. So we've got seven females. My goal is to have 12 and then raise a couple steers and a bull or borrow a bull when I need one. What's up, buddy? I'm sorry. I called you. I did. I said, Phineas, and you didn't come. I'm sorry. I'll get you more later. Well, that's not nice. What I found generally is when they, at least him, when he moves his horns, he just wants me to like scratch harder or in a different spot. I'm also trying not to get stabbed. I told you I was gonna finish the deck this weekend. <laughs> There's still a day. There's still one day. One day left. And it turned cold. Look, this is a rare moment. Hang on, don't. This is a rare moment, guys. There's a senior citizen playing with her toy. Oh, we've been spotted. She caught on to us. Oh, she's tired already. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> she, she's 11, cut her some slack. She walked down the stairs, walked all the way out there to her toy. She's tired. She caught on to us. Watch. Oh, there she goes. Oh, burst of energy. <laughs> Get it, girl. 
<laughs> and we need to mow that or turn the alpacas out in the backyard. All right. One of the two. We tried the goats, but they jumped out. Yeah, they lasted like 20 minutes in here. Put all, let's see, put, <laughs> we put all of them in here, right? Uh-huh. Blanche, the babies, Julian, and then Salt and Pepper ate on the outside of it. Like <laughs> followed them around, like mirrored it because yeah, they were mad they couldn't get in. They ate for like 20 minutes and then they wanted out. So weird. So, and we put the dogs up. They figured it out too. They got out. I don't even know how either. Yeah, they're goats. That's, well, that's how. true. They are Houdinis. Oh man, I wasn't going to tell you guys because I wanted to surprise you, but we rented the tool, the machine, like a forestry mulcher that Jeremiah used to clear the pathways for the fence, the right-of-ways. We rented that and I pick it up on Tuesday and this is all gonna change, but I won't see. Dude, he can find me anywhere. Yep. <laughs> it's your voice. He talks over you every time. Stinker. He knows who's in charge. But yeah, <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> but this is all going to change and we're going to clear. I I think we're just going to give it a full send, right? We're going to clear the whole line. Like we'll be able to the mow. Yes. Yeah. We'll be able to mow all of that. We're going to mow this crest. This is the crest of a hill right here. It starts dropping down into that meadow that you guys have seen. That goes up to the gate. Um, some of you were concerned that we're going to knock down trees and the cows won't have shade. That, yeah, that hurt my head. I don't know. You must so not. I, you need to watch our videos on a TV because apparently our, if you're watching it on a phone, you're missing the trees. I don't, I don't understand. It's crazy because we missed the trees on the 20 acres, but now there's so many trees here. We kind of missed the openness. Yeah. But the trees we're going to take out are just the ones right here. We'll just have a yard. And honestly, this won't even be. Let's see. The fence is 90. That's 60, so that's 150, and then it's 60 to their fence. So 60, let's call it 60, 160. What's that? Don't ask me. Where did Carter get those math skills? It was not from me. It was not. <laughs> so it's only going to be 100 and, no, it's only going to be 220 feet wide by basically 220 feet. So it's an acre. That's what we're clearing, literally. Of well, two 40. acres, two acres out of 40 acres. If you count the stamp of the house, like the footprint, we're clearing two acres. Okay. But then we're also going to plant some fruit trees right up there. We have no idea what to plant yet, but I've always wanted to order from like one of those tree places and like order some, I, I'll get native ones. I'm not going to try and put like, you know, a Norwegian spruce out here or something. <laughs> Um, they are super cool and they look really awesome in the snow. So we'll see. It might happen. <laughs> but, you know, no, what are they, sequoia, redwood trees. I'm not trying to put something that's going to, you know, show up on the Google space imaging. Get her, Oscar. Oscar. Get her. Get her. <laughs> Watch out for the stairs, buddy. You know what's so cool? His legs are so short, he touches every step on every he's, staircase he's getting good at them stairs you do yours um we've all got you just watched ray wiper nose we all have allergies so so what happens when it goes from 85 to 55 yeah it's in 48 60, hours i know it's 61 right now monday it's chilly monday morning is 38 degrees yeah 38 so not complaining it feels good it's just make up your mind yeah but. it's this is where we are in the time of year our weather just swings yep but no, we're excited. We want to clear this. I started to brush hog a little bit and then Kyle came over and I quit brush hogging because what I'm doing with my brush hog is not actually what you're supposed to do with a brush hog. I'm, I'm kind of pressing it, but I bought that brush hog used and I'm beating the tar out of it and I'm just getting my money's worth. Let's put it that way. So I'm pretty sure it has a hole in it. It does. Well, today I hit something that made the blade go sideways and it literally cut a hole in the top of the deck. So I'm not sure I should, uh, so anyway, I, I quit using the brush hog today and I'm just gonna wait on the proper equipment and I need a new brush hog, I'm pretty sure. But that was only like 400 bucks. We bought it off that guy that was moving and didn't want to take it. So anyway, <laughs> oh, man. so I roll. Hey, it's I've come a long ways. I used to use my little John Deere rider as a brush hog. 
loves you. Yeah, I'll come a long ways. With that said, we're out here because all three boys are in there and there's no way it's quiet. There's no way. So they're gaming. So no, they're gaming. Not. So they're, yeah, trying to figure out who's screen cheating and uh -huh. all that good stuff. That's the oddest couple down there. So funny. Every time you go to film them, they start walking away from each other. Mm -hmm. It was Oscar eating grass again. He was eating grass at the end of the other video. <laughs> Oscar. Grass sues their stomachs. You've been hanging out with deer? I think. Or I've heard. Hey, you think he'll eat enough? We don't have to mow? You go. <laughs> You got a long ways to go, brother. That's so funny. Earlier, I was like, too bad dogs don't eat grass. <laughs> yep. And by the way, this is where our septic tank is. It's like right here and then goes that way. So they had a fire pit right here. We leveled it and we're going to put dirt on it and plant grass. So, but that's not as pressing as making sure the animals were safe. And then this lovely view, because keep in mind when we get that forestry mulcher, it's going to come with, it's going to be a skid steer. So I can actually put my tractor bucket on it and bring dirt in here. My tractor fits in here, but that skid steer will be so much quicker. So, and I can get much bigger scoops. So anyway, yeah, moving and shaking. Carter had his soccer game. They did not win. They lost two to one. They lost two to one. Yep. But we haven't had a game yet that it hasn't been like this, super windy. Yeah. Ugh. Case's video should be out tonight, we'll see. And Adler had his kindergarten screening. And we learned that he's ready for his sophomore year of college. And uh, yeah, that's an understatement. It was <laughs> so <laughs> he was supposed to. Should I tell him about the ABCs? Oh god. Do you know about it? So he told him we we dug a little deeper, but we were we got a report that he didn't go past G on his ABCs. And I was like, he knows the letters. He does. So I asked him, and he was like, I just didn't want to sing anymore. Fair enough. That boy, he, he said knows A B what he C D wants. E F G, and he went. I'm done. I'm done. Because <laughs> then they showed him other letters, and he knew them, so they know he knows them. So anyway, She's yeah. Like he didn't sing the song. He's like, because I didn't want to. He didn't want to <laughs> sing, so he didn't sing it. With that said, y'all be good. Don't worry too hard. Don't make it weird. We'll see you guys on Tuesday. It's gonna change out here a lot. It's gonna be super cool. God bless. Deuces.